Hi y'all, I'm here at Dollar Tree and today I'm gonna do a Dollar Tree grocery guide video for you. So I'm showing you around Dollar Tree, the things that are a good deal, that are good healthy options and maybe some things to stay away from. Okay, so they do have the pink Himalayan salt here and this is actually a really good deal. The only place that I know of has a better deal is Big Lots. Um, but if you don't have a Big Lots, this is a really good deal. Better than most places. Stay away from this one because this is less salt for the same price uh, but this is much better quality salt they do have lots of beans but you can actually usually get beans even cheaper than a dollar a bag so I wouldn't recommend getting those they do have the pure cane sugar which hasn't been bleached um, and is less processed so if you're going to eat sugar this is the one that I recommend and it is a really good deal here all these cooking oils they're all vegetable oils or see even this one can be deceiving it says extra virgin but it also has soybean the only one that I would use here would be this coconut oil which is a pretty good one and it's a very high heat oil that is much less refined and processed than all those options. they have a bunch of condiments and dressings I would mostly stay away from all the dressings and the ketchup however mustard here is not bad you don't really have to buy organic mustard you can see the list of ingredients is very very small and clean so they have both those options if you want to pick them up for convenience they're not a bad price, but sometimes you can get them cheaper at other fish stores. Fish here, and so fish is really good for you. They do have cod, but it's not wild cod. My pick here would be the wild salmon filet. All right, the cheese selection is pretty slim. I definitely wouldn't get those. These, again, they have cheese agents, but turn around, they're not even really real cheese. The water is the first ingredient. So I would go for this. It's not organic, but the first ingredient you can see is milk. because it is, you can see it says plant-based and dairy, and it's not just cream cheese. It has, starts out good with milk, but then it has palm oil, and you just don't want that, so I'd stay away. The sour cream is the same way as well, and they don't have real butter bacon option. They have here's turkey bacon. It does have preservatives and nitrates and things in it that I wouldn't recommend, but if you are trying to go low fat, it can be an okay option, then there are much better options. Again, even if you are trying to do turkey and low fat, this isn't the greatest price on it, but it's here if you need to pick it up. I don't ever have lots of the vegetable choices. So we have, we got peas and carrots, things that don't need to be organic. If you miss, there'll be a video coming on Dirty Does in 2015. And these are pretty clean. We don't need to buy organic. Same with broccoli. chip options. So let's stay away from these because if we look at the ingredients, they have vegetable oil, soybean oil, and they're not organic. They also have yeast extract. These, however, are a good option. Uh, they're made with expeller pressed oils. I was really impressed and they don't have MSGs or yeast. On this side, I would stay away from most of these things, obviously, and most of these chips over here. But they do have some really cool options, which I'm actually going to try some of these out from Organic Valley. They're not made with expeller pressed oil, but they are organic, so I'm okay with it in a snack. And they have different flavors. They have the cheese fries, the cheese puffs, and the hot and spicy. The mini pop is not perfect, but it is non-GMO. Has some pretty simple ingredients. I don't love that the oil is not organic or expeller pressed, but it's one of the better snacks. They're actually really interesting. So they're non-GMO. They are made with a sunflower oil, which I don't love, but they have sprouted flax and chia and grains. And so they're not a terrible option for a snack. These can actually be really deceiving. They look um, healthy to most people. They say that they're made with organic corn, but Look at the ingredient list, there is a long list, and multidextrin that can spike your blood sugar, there is yeast extract, which is MSG, there's natural flavors, um, and so these are something that I would stay with here, that is pretty good. They have this unsweetened applesauce, so it's just apples and water, and a little bit of acid, that's just a preservative. Um, and so that's a really good option. These are a great snack for the kids or adults. We, as adults, like them as well. Uh, I would stay away from these because they are sweet. So 
this one and it has high fructose corn syrup even not just sugar and this one as well they have nine or ten added sugars total of 19 sugars in just one little cup so that's a whole lot and that's high for these could actually look deceiving and they are lower in sugar than the applesauce but they still do have added sugars so i mean i would stay away from them or at least not consume them a ton i would just you know save them for a treat but they do have other stores mandarin orange cups that do not have added sugar and those are really great snack options so i would just get those somewhere else same goes for the peach cups before and they are really good they taste great and the ingredients are just good and this free syrup food is an amazing deal we love free syrup food and this is absolutely the best place to buy it. it is so much cheaper here than anywhere else now this one does have sugar so watch that but it is four grams so i mean it's not terrible but some of them don't have added sugar so if you just watch that some of them the only ingredient is apples the apples are a great choice because the apples just have apples no added these sugar. can look like a good option and they do have good nuts and things but don't be deceived because if you flip the package around they have oils so we have to straighten out here they have cotton seed peanut sunflower cotton seed is really one of the worst processed oils so i would stay away from those but let's check these out over here these pistachios which these are very little packs so it's kind of crazy but see they just have pistachios and seeds so sunflower seeds are also good because they're just sunflower seeds and salt there is no oil so this is a really good option and that's a better price because it's a bigger bag so if you're looking for a nut or seed i would go with this one or the pistachio also, the dry roasted peanuts would be a good option because see they don't have any added oil they have a touch of cornstarch which is definitely not necessary i'm not sure why that's in there um but that's a still a really pretty good option. These, while they may taste delicious, they have, if you look, they have sugar and high fructose corn syrup um, and things added in there. Most of the drink aisle is a no-go for me. They do have these, which are probably one of the better options because they just have water, they don't have sweeteners. It's just water, flavored water, but it does have natural flavors, which aren't ideal. But, I mean, this would be way better than drinking a pop. So, if you're looking for something like Boy, that. Which, again, is probably better than pop, but it still does have, like, natural flavor. say light. They do have aspartame, so I would stay away from any of the little packets. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have anything from Dollar Tree that you like to buy, be sure and comment that down below. And if you would like to see more videos like this at different stores, be sure and let me know in the comments. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.